What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already and good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. So, um, just an FYI, my left eye is pretty red. I've been scratching it all morning, and but um, the show must go on. So here we go. Today we're gonna talk about the CZP01 Compact um, with the Omega Trigger. So this gun is empty. I always empty it before we um, go on video. So I felt like I've already done a review on this particular gun because I talked about it in my videos of why I love working on firearms and why I hate working on firearms. So I talked about it a lot. Um, but here's a overall review of the firearm for those who have not seen that video so this video is not going to be that long it's going to be pretty sure i'm thinking four or five minutes all right so here we are with the um po1 compact now um you know it's about the size of a glock 19 it is double action single action so let me go ahead and show you that right now it's in a decock mode so i'm left-handed but i'm going with my right hand there's a little bit of take up here and then all right and that's pretty smooth for double action i installed the three spring kit from um cajun gunworks in here and so it's a lot lighter than the factory pull um on the trigger and this is single action little take up and there we go now i will say this when you're shooting it, it shoots like a dream. Like I let my friend shoot it and we were at the range and like literally as we were leaving, they didn't have one of these, but he fell in love with CZ after shooting this that he bought the um, the P10C. Now, yes, that's a striker fire pistol, but the fact that it had the name CZ on it after shooting this, he was like, I gotta have it. So anyway, he loves that P, uh, P10C. He just ordered a um, holster from it for, um, where did he get it from? Oh, from um, Vetters. So anyway, needless to say, CZ is everything. And, you know, again, it's the ergonomics, right? It's the natural point of aim. I just feel so comfortable shooting this. And right now, this is probably my favorite double action, single action in my safe. Now, it didn't come with these sights. I put these sights on from um, KG Gunworks. They are the... Um, Dawson Precision Sights. I put the springs in. All of that is in another video. What else did I do? I added these grips, okay? The um, original grips are black and rubber. These are aluminum and they are from Armory Craft, okay? So I made a couple of changes, but nothing um, spectacular, just a different grip feel, um, different sights, because the sights that come on here, you will wanna change them out anyway. Um, and then I changed the springs for a lighter trigger pull, but the overall gun is just amazing. The frame is aluminum and obviously there's a still slide here. It's just comfortable to hold. Now I'm struggling to find a holster for this. I called up Vetter and first of all, I love their holsters. All my holsters, if I can get them, I get them from Vetter. If Vetter doesn't have it, then I'll go somewhere else. But I called and I asked specifically for a holster for this and they don't have the mold for it. Now this has been out for quite some time, but they don't have the mold for it. And they didn't have the mold for my um, 2.0 compact, which is why I went to another company. I wasn't all that pleased with them, but um, Vetter is just, that's my company. But right now they don't have a holster for it. So I haven't been able to carry it. I've been wanting to carry it since I got it. But, and right now with the winter season, it would be perfect time to carry and you know see how i like it so then i can continue on in the summer but yeah better come on you got to get on that i need i definitely need a holster for this but um the shootability of it how it um has a natural point of aim the um the recoil is almost non-existent because the slide up here rides inside the frame so you know let me see if you can see that better Notice the low bore axis on this, all right? And notice that barrel riding inside the frame. 
and notice how parallel it is. So there isn't a lot of um, recoil on this at all. So it's easy to shoot, especially for a newbie and for an experienced shooter. Man, they could have fun with this all day. It's like a kid in the candy store. So I do appreciate that. I appreciate the decocker being ambi. Um, I changed over the mag release so that I can drop the mags freely over here. But this is just a nice, you know, a nice little shooter. I love it. It is, like I said, probably my favorite at this point. I just need to find a holster for it. If you have not shot a CZ, if you haven't shot this and you see this um, at the counter or someone else has it in a lane next to you, politely ask them to shoot it, you will absolutely love it. Now, again, I switched the springs in this, but out of the box, it's still a beauty to shoot. It's still comfortable. It's still accurate. It's super accurate. Um, we don't even have to talk about reliability issues for CZ because they are, you know, top of the line when it comes to reliability. Um, again, this is, you know, double action, single action. So listen, my favorite, I don't know what else I can say about this. I feel like I keep talking about this gun. I feel like you guys are tired of hearing about it, but I realized that I didn't do a overall review. So I guess I had to give you um, something for those who did not see the previous videos. Um, not easy to work on. You have to have patience to work on a CZ. So if you do decide to take this on yourself, um, there are some YouTube videos that are up there that will help you when working on this. Um, if it's a big project, send it to a gunsmith. If it's a small project, like installing pins, changing over the mag release, um, doing the grips, you'll be just fine. The sights, I had them done for me because when I tried to remove the rear sight, it was impossible. I could not remove it. Um, CZ really nailed it in there. So, um, Cajun Gunworks did that for me, but of course I had to pay a fee. So, but anyway, if you decide to take it on, you can. The Omega system is supposed to be easier than um, the other systems when it comes to working on their firearms. But, you know, I just do the simple stuff. I do what I can, and then I keep it moving. Um, but I like to keep them as factory um, as possible when they come out the store. So anyway, that's my review on the CZP-01 Compact with the Omega Trigger. I hope that you guys are treating one another with kindness. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. Peace.